Hi everyone, my name is Bryson Booker, and this is my photo story about God, gold, and glory. A story about colonization. Also narrated by me. Gold. Europeans use labor to receive riches and cultivate resources. Many colonists made gold their primary source. Africans and Native Americans faced backbreaking and brutal labor in order to create gold for European colonists. Many Africans had to harvest crops and rubber to create products for the European resources. They had little freedom and barely any food or money. Another way Europeans received gold was for selling and trading slaves at slave trade markets. If the Africans did not cooperate with the European laws or did not do the labor given to them, this is just one of the many pen penalties they faced for their wrongdoings. Their hands were cut off, and they were also brutally beaten by the European colonists. Many Europeans had riches all for themselves. They also used some of the riches for resources. Slaves really didn't get anything much. Well, they were only lucky enough to get freedom for a month with a gold token. Still today in our world, Africa still faces a sign of poverty in their area. In some parts of Africa, food and money, and even houses are scarce. The rationalization for God is simple. The Europeans wanted to share Christianity with the Africans and natives. But to be honest with you, the Europeans didn't share Christ in a proper way. Now, the good thing about this was Christianity was finally coming to Africa. But the bad thing about it was the Europeans were forcing Africans to change their religion, changing their, well, current religion and their cultures as well, which also altered a change in identity. Slaves were killed if they did not transfer to Christianity and also brutally beaten. The impact on Christianity for the Europeans was just to share it with the natives and Africans. But you see, they did it in a way that wasn't pleasing to us or them at the time. They forced them to change their identity and cultures. Well, how God shapes our world today is uh, simple. We have Christianity. <laughs> Whether you're Baptist, Catholic, it still shapes our world, no matter what religion you are. Glory. Colonists took over everything. <clears throat> it was true, ladies and gentlemen. The colonists pretty much dominated Africa and everything that was in it. They took over half of the land and the Africans and natives had to follow strict European laws. One of the major events that helped divide the continent of Africa was the Berlin Conference. And many local colonists sat down and discussed how they wanted Africa to be divided. But the thing is, as you can see in this picture and many other pictures, there are no Africans. There is no African representation. Because guess what they were doing? Slavery. Hard labor. So, it, it kind of really stinks that the Africans didn't have their own opinions in the conference. And how to divide up their home continent. In this picture, you can clearly see how, how the colonists divided Africa. Into, well, colonies. The biggest colony 
as you can see right there, is France. When Africa was divided, the major impact that it had on the European colonists was expansion of land, of course, for more slaves and resources. And that meant more gold. And it pretty much all connects together. But along with that, they also had to follow strict laws. Many African customs were done and they couldn't go on. And many African children had to follow the European education system. And of course, it was hard labor all day. If they did not want to follow this labor, they were either killed, hung, hands cut off, and many other penalties. The rules were very strict. I believe I should end this photo story on a positive note. <clears throat> Even though during the time of colonization, when Africa wasn't doing so hot, years go by and they're really developing. Many Africans are going to school, they have homes, and the money is uh, coming in right. Africa is growing strong. This has been my photo story. Thanks for watching and listening, and uh, I hope you learned something. Thanks.